We use GPGPU squashes Xbox 360 PS3 capable of DirectX 11 equivalent graphics. I just thought I had to make this video, guys. By the way, this is the Jokey here, and um, this was created by William Usher, as the author of this little article here. I'll also put the link in the description for you guys to you know to check it out. This was also published the, the September 9th, 19th of 2012. And I'm just going to read out exactly what it says. I thought I needed to make this video because I got a little point to prove at the end of this video. This was point posted yesterday. So hopefully you guys will understand where I'm getting at here. Let's start quick with this. All the talk about the Wii U being weak, underpowered, and not capable of outputting graphics like the Xbox 360 or PS3 is apparently hogwash. Unity's technology CEO David Hegeslund squashes the rumors by acknowledging just how far the Wii U's tech can scale and what developers will be capable of utilizing with the Unity alone. So for those of you who don't un who don't know the Unity engine is like a poor man's equivalent of the un Unreal's engine. It's not an insult, it's just it's actually a compliment. You get many of the same of the similar features from the Unreal engine within the Unity engine, but at a fraction of the cost and with a lot less coding bulk. What's more is the, that the Unity 4 is capable of shader 4.0 and higher. 3D texturing, real-time dynamic lighting, and everything else in between. One of the more popular demonstrations of the Unity engine is Zero Point Softwares. Recently, Unity Technology announced that the Uni Unity engine will be supported by Nintendo and the and the Wii U across the globe, opening up development via the indie friendly engine for developers both big and small. In a pre briefing interview, the Hegeslund before the press announcement well with Hegeslund before the press announcement, that's an actual person guys, went live. Gaming Blend had the opportunity to ask a few questions about the jump from mobile PC and current gen consoles to be the first next gen console and whether developers would be able to make use of all the Unity's latest high end technology on Nintendo's newest console, including the ability to make use of Unity's 4's DirectX 11. Yes, I said DirectX 11, equivalent features and shaders. Higlison replied with the following. Yeah, we will do a, we will do a, we, <laughs> this guy quoted it wrong, we will do, we'll do a, we'll make it potentially possible to do. What's interesting is that our philosophy is always this, we have a match workflow and I'm sure we can make a decent game and prototype. And they're fun. And then we'll, well, we we have well, this guy freaking made it hard to read. And then we have a shared system that basically allows you to access the full capabilities of the hardware you run. That's going to be good. Whether you you're running software on an iPhone, the Wii U, a gaming PC, or whatever. It's funny how they didn't even include the Xbox 360 and PS3. Oh well. When priced about the actual clock speeds shader limits and memory bandwidth of the Wii U's GPGPU, Higgleson tried waving on the question, waving off the question, sorry, basically saying that it was up to Nintendo to disclose that information. And then he said, dang it. You know, they wish they can expose more information, but they can't. And the reason why they didn't include the other consoles into this is because the Wii U is the only next generation console that's coming out right now. So for all of you assholes who think that the PS3 and the 360 is on par with the Wii U, think again. 
Epic Games, Mike Caps, also retracted his, his comments about the inabilities and capabilities of the Wii U's hardware. <clears throat> First tweeting that the Wii U would be limited to the Unreal Engine 3, but then later clarified his comments saying that the engine was unconfirmed for all platforms. So far, the Big N has been extremely discreet about the actual detailed hardware specifications of the system. We've at least learned more about the console's RAM configuration and hard disk base, as well as fact, as well as the fact that it's even using a GP GPU. But further details are still sketchy. I imagine we'll find out a lot sooner as the system draws near the November launch date. On the upside, at least it's confirmed by the si it's confirmed the system can make use of the higher end functionality of today's generations games engines, which should be a sigh of relief for a lot of gamers out there who were afraid that the Wii U just wasn't up to par, aka the Sony drones. Oh well. In fact, it was Hegelslin's, Hegels, Hegel, this guy's name is tough to say, Hegelson says concise with the actual specs of the Wii U that could put the graphics card at least two generations ahead of the 360 and PS3. Let me read that again. If what Hegelson says coincides with the actual specs of the Wii U, that could put the, the graphics card at least two generations. I said two generations ahead. Let me read that again. It can at least put two generations ahead. It can be two generations ahead of the 360 and PS3 in terms of shader capabilities, shadowing, and lighting effects. You heard me right, didn't you? I thought so. Since neither current gen console is capable of producing DirectX 11, aka the 360 and PS3, equivalent graphics effects, perhaps the $350 price tag, isn't so high after all. And if you're going for the basic set, you're paying a lot less for that. Well, that's excluding Nintendo Land. We'll have up more. Well, that's a really. We'll have up more from the pre briefing later. No, that's bad grammar there. But for now, you can learn about the Unity engine over at the official website. So. Now you guys will have a little bit of more insight on what the Wii U graphical capables, capabilities, sorry, my mistake, are good for. Well, at least it's as what I expected it to be since it is a next generation console. Too bad for some of you, you don't think so, but you know who I'm talking about. And let me say this for the ending of this video. Will Black Bond be making a video about this? Nope. With RX, would RXL be making a video about this? Nope. Will Pyro X2000 be making a video about this? Nope. You see, I can ramble on over and over of all of these drones. They're proven to be drones. I can, I can just talk about these guys and say to you, will they be making a video about the Wii U? Any positive, positive in, um, information that comes out. Will they be making a video about it? No. But if any negative information comes out about this console, the video will be uploaded instantly. Now that proves that they're drones. And I exclude Blackbond from the drones because he's a dedicated PC gamer, yet he bought a Wii at launch for a port. But anyways... I'm gonna leave now, and I'm hope I'm hoping you guys will actually understand, especially you, my subscribers. I really hope you understand now that this Wii U is what we're gonna be needing for the next generation at least, because there's nothing higher than DirectX 11 right now, so we should be fine. I just thought you should know that. Anyways, peace out later.